Forsooth, Josiah made pass to the Lord in Jerusalem, which pass was offered in the fourteenth day of the first month. And he ordained priests in their offices, and commanded them to serve in the house of the Lord. And he spake to the deacons, at whose teaching all Israel was hallowed to the Lord, Set ye the ark of the Lord in the sanctuary of the temple, that Solomon, king of Israel, the son of David, builded. For ye shall no more bear it about, but now serve ye the Lord your God and his people Israel. Make you ready by your houses and minus, and the partings of each by himself, as David, king of Israel, commanded, and as Solomon his son ordained. And serve ye in the sanctuary by the families and companies of deacons, and be ye hallowed, and offer ye pasch. Also make ready your brethren, that they may do after the words which the Lord spake by the hand of Moses. Furthermore, Josiah gave to all the people that was found there in the solemnity of Pasch, that is, to make the solemnity lambs and kids of the flocks, and of residue sheep. He gave thirty thousand, and oxes, oxes, three thousand. These things were given of the substance of the kings, and his dukes offered those things which they avowed by their free will, as well to the people, as to the priests and deacons, and Hilkiah, and Zechariah, and Jehiel, princes of the house of the Lord, gave to priests to make pasch in common, two thousand and six hundred sheep, and three hundred oxen, and Conaniah, and Shemaiah, and Nathaniel, and his brethren, and also Hashabiah, and Jael, and Josabad, the princes of deacons, gave to other deacons to make pasch five thousand of sheep and five hundred oxen. And the service was made ready, and the priests stood in their office, and deacons in their companies, by the commandment of the king. And pasch was offered, and priests sprinkled their hands with blood, and deacons drew off the skins of the sacrificed beast, and they parted those sacrifices, for to give them by the houses and minus of all men that were come thither to make pasch, and that those sacrifices would be offered to the Lord, as it is written in the book of Moses, and of oxen, they did in like manner. And they roasted the pasch lamb upon the fire, after that, after that, that is written in the law. And they seized peaceable sacrifices in pans, and in cauldrons, and in pots, and in haste. They dealed it to all the people. But they made ready afterward to themselves and the priests. For the priests were occupied unto night in the offering of burnt sacrifices, and of the inner fatnesses. Wherefore, the deacons made ready their part to the last of themselves, and to the priest, the sons of Aaron, and singers, the sons of Asaph, stood in their order by the commandment of David, and Asaph, and of Heman, and Jedithan, the prophets of the king. But the porters kept their office by each gate, so that they went not away from their service, swiftly, not in a point, that is, they were in no time absent from their office. Wherefore, and the deacons, their brethren, made ready meats to them. Therefore, all the religion of the Lord was fulfilled rightfully in all that day, that they made pasch and offered burnt sacrifices upon the altar of the Lord by the commandment of King Josiah. And the sons of Israel that were found there made pasch in that time, and the solemnity of thirst loaves, seven days. No pasch was like this in Israel from the days of Samuel the prophet, but neither any of the kings of Israel made pasch as Josiah did to priests and deacons and to all Judah and Israel that was found there and to the dwellers of Jerusalem. This pasch was hallowed in the 18th year of the realm of Josiah. After that, Josiah had repaired the temple. Necho, the king of Egypt, went up to fight in Carchemish beside Euphrates. And Josiah went forth into this, and he was meeting. And Necho said by messengers sent to Josiah, King of Judah, what cause of strife is to me and to thee? I come not against thee today, but I fight. I come not against thee today, but I fight against another house, to which God bade me to go in haste. Cease thou to do thus against God that is with me, lest he slay thee. But Josiah would not turn again, but he made ready battle against him. 
and he assented not to the words of Necho by God's mouth, but he went forth to fight in the field of Megiddo. And there he was wounded of archers, and Josiah said to his children, or servants, Lead ye me out of the battle, for I am wounded greatly. And they bear him over from that chariot into another chariot that pursued him by custom of the king. And they brought him forth into Jerusalem. And he died there and was buried in the sepulcher of his fathers. And all Judah and Jerusalem bewailed him. Jeremy, mostly, of whom all the singers and singresses till into present day rehearsed lamentations, either wailings on Josiah, and it came forth as a law in Israel. Lo, it is said written in the la in lamentations, so soot the residue of the words of Josiah and of his mercies that be commanded in the law of the Lord and his works, the first and the last, be written in the book of the kings of Israel and of Judah.